You might know him as the Demon King, or simply Finn Balor. But whichever one comes out to wrestle, it does so in a clinical fashion. Finn Balor has attained so much success in the WWE in so little time. He's faced the best wrestlers of this era, and more times than not, he came out victorious. He portrays two gimmicks that he transitions between seamlessly. But in between these two personalities lies a third. A third personality that embodies all into one. A third personality that tells us just who Finn Balor truly is. With that being said, let us take a deep dive into the story of the real Finn Balor before he became the Demon King. But be sure to stick to the very end, where we reveal the epic moment the Demon King surfaced and claimed the Universal Championship. Let's begin. Finn Balor, whose real name is Fergal Devitt, was born on the 25th of July 1981 in Bray, the Republic of Ireland, to Finton and Leonie Devitt. He is the second oldest of five children and attended St. Cronin School in Bray. Before deciding to become a professional wrestler, Balor played association football and Gaelic football. He never in his wildest dreams imagined that one day he'd be a professional wrestler until he got hooked on watching WWE as a teenager. Balor instantly fell in love with wrestling entertainment when he started watching WWE shows on TV. His favourite wrestlers were the British Bulldogs, Shawn Michaels, Rick Rude, Mr Perfect, Coco Beware and Savio Vega. The WWE seemed like a perfect world for Balor and he was more than ready to hop into it. His earliest matches were of the backyard variety, with one of his three brothers serving as his opponent. As a teenager, he began to realise that if he was going to hone his skills in wrestling, he needed more formal training. While reading one of his prized industry magazines, he found a school in the south of England, Hammerlock Wrestling. Balor told his parents that he was going to go train at Hammerlock for two weeks to see what this wrestling thing was all about. Two weeks completed and he returned to Ireland, briefly. Then came another two-week session and another and another until it became clear that wrestling was his true passion. After his training with NWA Hammerlock was concluded, Balor received recognition by winning the NWA British Commonwealth Heavyweight Championship. In mid-2002, Balor, along with Paul Tracy, opened NWA Ireland, his own wrestling promotion based in Ireland. During the initial years of his wrestling career, Balor bagged several championships during his tenure with New Japan Pro Wrestling with the nickname Prince Devitt. Balor became three-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, a six-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion with Minoru and four times with Ryosuke Taguchi. He is also a two-time winner of the Best of the Super Juniors Tournament won in 2010 and 2013. Finn Balor formed Bullet Club in May 2013 with American wrestler Carl Anderson and Tongan wrestlers Tama Tonga and Bad Luck Fail. The first match took place on May 2013 when Balor and Fail defeated Taguchi and Captain New Japan. At the time, Balor had no idea what destiny had in store for him. That match against Taguchi formed an impeccable rivalry between them, one that made Balor rise to the heights he's attained today. In May 2013, Balor also won the best of the Super Juniors. In June, he won his second best of the Super Juniors and then he became the first wrestler to hold IWGP Junior Heavyweight and IWGP Heavyweight Championships simultaneously. At the end of 2013, Bullet Club held both IWGP Junior Heavyweight and IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championships. They also won three out of five NJPW annual tournaments. The club marked a major change in Balor's career as he began to eventually move out of the junior heavyweight division and enter IWGP Heavyweight Championship tournaments. Back to his run with Ryosuke Taguchi. 
After amassing so much success with the Bullet Club, Finn Balor was on a 14-month run as IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, but his reign as champion came to an end in 2014. On January the 4th, 2014, at Wrestle Kingdom 8 in Tokyo Dome, Balor's 14-month reign as the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion came to an end when he lost the title to Koto Ibushi in his fifth defence. It was in this match that he appeared as the Demon King for the first time in his career. The following day, Balor was attacked by the returning Ryosuke Taguchi, who had been sidelined with an injury for the past seven months, reigniting the rivalry between the two former partners. On the 6th of April at Invasion Attack 2014, Bala faced Taguchi in a singles grudge match. During the match, Bala repeatedly told the two newest members of Bullet Club not to interfere in the match, which eventually led to them turning on him. In the end, Taguchi defeated Bala. But after the match, the two men shook hands, ending their rivalry with each other. He ended both his rivalry and his contract with New Japan Pro Wrestling that night because by morning he was heading straight to WWE's development center, NXT. On the 15th of May 2014, Balor was reported to have signed with WWE and would join NXT, then the promotion's developmental territory once he obtained a visa. On the 28th of July, WWE officially confirmed his signing and announced he would report to NXT that same day. It was also after his signing with the WWE that he formed his ring name, Finn Balor. He derived the name from Irish mythological figures Fionn McCool, which is also Gaelic for Demon King and Balor. He made his NXT debut the next day, aiding Hideo Itami against the Ascension. His debut was worth the wait, earning him more than just regular matches, but a shot at the NXT Championship. But winning the NXT Championship from his old-time rival and real-life friend Kevin Owens needed Balor calling in his cavalry, the cavalry being the Demon King. Balor appeared in his mystical form, covered in body paint at The Beast in the East in Tokyo, Japan, on July the 4th, 2015, where he defeated Owens to win the NXT Championship. From the colourful paint that dawned his body to the spectacle of the performance he put on during his entrance, the appearance of the Demon King was a marvel for NXT fans. He went on to hold the belt for a record 292 days before his reign ended at the hands of Samoa Joe at a live event in Lowell, Massachusetts. But Samoa Joe was determined to not only take the title away from Bala, he wanted to put an end to the Demon King. In the first ever WWE NXT steel cage match, the Demon King appeared to face Samoa Joe for a rematch of the title, but Mighty Joe finally buried the Demon by winning the match and retaining his title. The Demon was buried in NXT, but it came alive even stronger than ever in its new home. And that home was Monday Night Raw. Before we talk about that, let's do something fun for you watching this video. We have a special shout out contest for our subscribers. So if you want to get a personal shout out from us in one of our videos, go comment EPIC in the comment section below and stand a chance to win the contest. It's pretty easy, so go comment EPIC now. On the 19th of July 2016, Balor was drafted to the Raw brand as the fifth overall pick in the 2016 WWE Draft. On one side, you had the leather jacket wearing confident veteran from Japan who could out-wrestle anyone he met. His other personality, the resurrected Demon King, was sadistic, putting Balor in a state where he could go through anything or anyone by any means necessary to win the match. He made his first appearance for the brand on the July 25th episode of Raw, where he won the right to compete for the newly established WWE Universal Championship at SummerSlam by first defeating Rusev, Cesaro and Kevin Owens in a fatal four-way match. 
and then defeating Roman Reigns, who had won a similar fatal four-way match. He was to face the architect, Seth Rollins, for the inaugural WWE Universal Championship at SummerSlam. And guess who Finn summoned for the match? If you guess the Demon King, you're 100% right. The Demon Finn Balor faced Seth Rollins at the main event of the 2016 SummerSlam held on August the 21st, 2016. It was an absolute barn burner and lived up to its numerous promos. After a tussle of momentum in the opening minutes of the match, Bala was launched by Seth Rollins into an external barrier and boom, his shoulder popped out. Finn was in pain and was left with two options. Either he told the referee he was seriously hurt and forfeited the match or he went back to the ring to deal with the pain. As the work it took to get to this match flashed through Bala's mind, the decision suddenly became easy. There was no point in quitting now. The physicality of the bout only increased from there, with Rollins routinely taunting Bala and slapping his face. An exciting sequence of near falls led to the finish, including Bala kicking out of Rollins' finishing move, the pedigree, which produced a huge reaction from the crowd. Rollins then landed a superplex from the top rope, but Bala countered his follow-up move and landed a mini coup de grace, his two-footed stomp to the chest finisher in the center of the ring. With Rollins down, Bala took to the top rope to land the real thing, getting the pin. And just like that, Finn Bala became the inaugural Universal Champion. He also became the first wrestler in WWE to win a title in his debut match on a pay-per-view. From then on, the fans didn't notice that Bala was a cruiserweight, nor that he was an Irishman who didn't fit the mould of the prototypical WWE superhero. What they saw in front of them was one of the greatest performers of his craft on the planet, giving birth to a new superstar unlike any other in the WWE. Make sure you check out this other video showing on your screen. Bye for now.